Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Larry H. And you hit that play button, which can only mean you are ready for another reading for the book of Joshua. Today we get another painful reminder that dishonesty never really gets you anywhere. Joshua chapter 7. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, that you come to my understanding of you. Amen. But the children of Israel acted dishonestly in the devoted things. For Khan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zayuha, the tribe of Judah took some of the devoted things. Therefore, Yahweh's anger burned against the children of Israel. Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside beth Aven, on the east side of Bethel, and spoke to them, saying, Go up and spy out the land. The men went up and spied out Ai. They returned to Joshua and said to him, Don't let all the people go up. But let about two or three thousand men go up and strike high. Don't make all the people to toil there, for there are only a few of them. So about three thousand men of the people went up there, and they fled before the men of Ai. The men of Ai struck about thirty-six men of them, and they chased them from before the gate even to Sheep Barim, and struck them at the descent. The hearts of the people melted and became like water. Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before Yahweh's ark until the evening, he and the elders of Israel. And they put the dust on their heads. Joshua said, Alas, Lord Yahweh, why have you brought this people over the Jordan at all, to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to cause us to perish? I wish that we had been content and lived beyond the Jordan. O oh Lord, what shall I say after Israel has turned their backs before thy enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it, and surround us, and cut off our name from the earth. What you do for your great name? Yahweh said to Joshua, Get up! Why have you fallen on your face like that? Israel has sinned. Yes, they have even rebelled against my covenant, which I commanded them. Yes, they have even taken some of the devoted things, and have also stolen and those who deceived. They have even put it among their own stuff. Therefore, the children of Israel can't stand before their enemies. They turn their backs before their enemies, because they have become devoted for destruction. I will not be with you anymore unless you destroy the devoted things from among you. Get up, cleanse the people, and say, Cleanse yourselves for tomorrow. For Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, There is a devoted thing among you, Israel. You cannot stand before your enemies until you take away the devoted thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought near by your tribes. It shall be that the tribe which Yahweh selects shall come near by families. The family which Yahweh selects shall come near by households. The household which Yahweh selects shall come near man by man. It shall be that he who is taken with the devoted thing shall be burned with fire, he and all that he has, because he has rebelled against Yahweh's covenant, and because he has done a disgraceful thing in Israel. So Joshua rose up early in the morning, and brought Israel near by their tribes. The tribe of Judah was selected. He brought near the family of Judah, and he selected the family of the Jeoites. He brought near the family of the Zeoites, man by man, and Zabdi was selected. He brought near his household, man by man, and Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zeoi, the tribe of Judah was selected. Joshua said to Achan, My son, please give glory to Yahweh, the God of Israel, and make confession to him. Tell me now what you have done. Don't hide it from me. Achan answered Joshua and said, I have truly sinned against Yahweh, the God of Israel, and this is what I have done. When I saw among the plunder a beautiful Babylonian robe, two hundred shekels of silver, and a edge of gold weighing fifty shekels, I lost it for them, and took them. See, they are hidden in the ground, in the middle of my tent, with the silver under it. So Joshua sent messages, and he ran to the tent. They saw it was hidden in his tent, with the silver under it. They took them from the middle of the tent, and brought them to Joshua, and to all the children of Israel. They laid them down before Yahweh. Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, the silver, the robe, the wedge of gold, his sons, his daughters, his cattle, his donkeys, his sheep, his tent, and all that he had. And they brought him up to the valley of Achor. 
Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? Yahweh will trouble you today. Well, Israel stoned them with stones, and they burned them with fire and stoned them with stones. They raised over him a great heap of stones that remain to this day. Yahweh turned from the fierceness of his anger. Therefore, the name of that place was called the Valley of Akor to this day.